Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and today we have Graham Smith with us from Smith Shapes, and we're gonna be talking about a few of his models. Uh, first, let's pick it up, Graham. Let's talk about the humanoid. Tell us about this board. Well, basically, the humanoid was developed in Australia. Uh, we had a conversation with a, a magazine, and they wanted us to make a board for them, so we said, yeah, that'd be really cool. We'd be happy to support you guys. And then we found out it was gonna be for Matt Wilkinson. I went, oh wow, this is, this is, now I need to put my thinking cap on because this is Mad Wilco, you know what I mean? So what we came up with, and he said he didn't want to have a fish, he just wanted something that would engage well for him, so, and something a bit shorter, you know, a bit fast, and just do something, gee, that when, I up, when I'm up to speed, I'm not going to start drifting around, I want control. And so that's where I developed a little, the, the, the human world, basically. So what we have is a, a pretty basic flat bottom, a little bit of a, nose flip in the tail, I mean in the nose, and a flip in the tail. The tail's been really pulled in, because up to speed we want Matt to feel that he can engage it properly. And then um, a little bit more forward volume, paddling into it easy, the nose is must probably around about 14 inches opposed to be, being 12 and a half or whatever. And um, it can be ridden with a quad, so it can also be a, like a traveler board, a one kind of piece surfboard that you take fit quads in it and then you've got the option to surf really bigger hollower surf opposed or down the line when you really get up to speed and that's how we actually came about doing the humanoid you know so we were thinking of a name we kind of for Matt we called it the, the wave snatcher and then it, we developed it around to becoming the humanoid so that was the story behind actually developing this board and having a, a key surfer like Wilco ride it and then giving us some really good feedback and that's, that's basically pretty short and sweet because we actually had a great test pilot on it, you know? And what about uh, the application of this board? Because you make them in bigger sizes, you know? Oh, Big, no, bigger, bigger than pro sizes. Like, I think we've seen them up to like 6'10 or 7'0 yeah, exactly, or something like that. Exactly. So what about for people that are riding those bigger ones? Is it helping no, them out? 100%. So those are guys, those are surfers that are actually still relevant to surfing. They want to go and catch good waves. They're going to ride J-Bay down the line. And instead of them getting kind of a mini mal that's a, a 7.6 or 7.8, we can reduce it down to a 7.0, you know, and end up being 44 litres, 43 litres, and it's still cool, you know what I mean? It fits in their car, it doesn't have to go on top of the roof. It's just <laughs> perfect for them. They feel cool taking down to the beach, you know, opposed to lugging this big full nose thing. It's doing nothing. The nose is doing absolutely nothing for you, you know? So, um, Except helping you pole vault over, yeah. <laughs> over the front when you do, try and drop in late. Well, if you even look at this, it has got an enhanced nose lift. We want this so you can take off late and still be able to not pearl. You know, that's the most important thing. Oh, it's pointless having something that you're going to end up pearling all the time. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much, Graham, about talking about the humanoid. If uh, any of you out there have any questions about a humanoid or want to get one ordered up, you can always call us at the shop, 252 987 6,000 or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Graham, thanks for joining us and thanks for tuning in. Sweet. Brew. <laughs> <laughs>